Mountains are calling and I must go by John Muir. Ashley Rose and Logan have heard this call. Now here we are in this magnificent place. Look around. Nature is the most beautiful temple in which to hold this celebration of love and commitment between Logan and Ashley Rose. As we stand in this circle, see that it is a never-ending circle of friends, family, and love, and nature. It is truly a circle of life. Asher Rose and Logan, thank you for inviting all of us to share in this occasion with you. It is an honor to be here with you and to participate in your wedding. And it's a very special honor for me to officiate. Thank you. Logan and Ashley Rose has a, have asked me to express their love and appreciation to all of you for traveling so far to be here today. Brenda and Yvonne, thank you for raising such a wonderful son. And Gwen, thank you for raising such a wonderful daughter. And I'll take a little bit of the credit for that too. <laughs> Michelle and Noel, thank you for being such very good and loving friends with Ashley Rose. Pierre, thank you for your friendship with Logan and Ashley Rose. They would also like to thank those who are not here today, but who have given much unconditional love and support throughout the years. Ashley Rose would like to thank Pekka, Aunt Gigi, Uncle Gary, and Aunt Helen. Logan would also like to thank his brother Mackenzie and sister Laura. Ashley Rose's grandmother and Logan's grandfather have both passed on recently, but we know they are in spirit with us here today. Thank you, Mike and Chris, and thank you, Mary Ann, for being with us also. <laughs> By your presence here today, you demonstrate your love and friendship with Ashley Rose and Logan, and you are being called upon to support them in loving one another, to celebrate with them when life is joyful, to help lift them up when life is challenging, and to support them always in the vows made today. In this spirit, they ask all of us now, will you support our marriage and partnership as you have throughout our lives so far? If so, please answer yes. 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 Thank you. I'd like to offer the two of you, Logan and Ashley Rose, some suggestions. First, be constantly grateful for the presence of this precious person who has chosen to make a life with you. Next, make each other the recipient of daily kindness. The world can be a tough place, and at all times some of us will be subject to rough handling. Be generous with compliments instead of criticism. Be attentive and helpful. Ask for what you want. Proactively love your partner in ways that are meaningful to them. Each day ask yourself how to be a better person and how to be a better mate to your partner. Each of you can, by your tenderness, kind words, and thoughtful actions towards each other, make your marriage and your home an uplifting refuge. Make truth the foundation of your lives together. A happy, loving marriage is built on trust and respect. That trust and respect can only be sustained if you are both deeply committed to always being open and truthful in every exchange, no matter how small. My hope for you is this, that you have many years to delight in each other's company, to feel gratitude for your great good fortune in having found each other and then the opportunity to have a loving relationship. To make a home together that is prosperous, sheltering, and welcoming. For each of you to do meaningful and productive work at home and in the world. And to be loved, and to love and be loved by friends and family. With this marriage, you bring your own lives together and also those of your friends and families. We are all here to participate in this ceremony and to show our support for Ashley Rose and Logan. 
A supportive community is a cornerstone for loving and lasting relationships. And so, to continue with the participation of community and friends and family, we will now hear readings from Michelle, Pierre, and Noel. Michelle? Two trees. A portion of your soul has been entwined with mine. A gentle kind of togetherness, while separately we stand. As two trees deeply rooted in separate plots in the ground, while their topmost branches come together, forming a miracle of lace against the heavens. Thank you, Michelle. Pierre? Still life with woodpecker. Love is the ultimate outlaw. It just won't adhere to any rules. The most of any of us can do is to sign on as a compass. Instead of vowing to honor and obey, maybe we should swear to aid and abet. That would mean that security is out of the question. The words make and stay become inappropriate. My love for you is, has no strings attached. I love you. Thank you, Kier. Noel? This is Love's Philosophy by Percy Shelley. The fountains mingle with the rivers, and the rivers with the ocean. The winds of heaven mix forever with the sweet emotion. Nothing in the world is single, all things by a law divine. In one spirit meet and mingle, why not I with thine? See the mountains kiss high heaven, and the waves clasp one another. No sister flower would be forgiven if it disdained its brother. And the sunlight clasps the earth, and the moonbeams kiss the sea. What is all this sweet work worth if thou kiss not me? Thank you, Noah. <clears throat> Later in the ceremony, Ashley Rose and Logan will be ex exchanging rings as a visible symbol of their love and commitment. These rings will not only be a gift from one another, but will be given with the love, support, and wisdom of family and friends. They have asked all here to participate in a ring blessing. For this, the rings will be passed among us, and each person is asked to hold the rings for a moment and silently bless them with your thoughts of love and happiness for Ashley Rose and Logan's life together. When these rings come back, they will contain in the precious metal that which is even more precious and priceless, your love and hope and pledge of support for their union. Mike, if you would, please. I'll start. Comes easy, and I 
guess that's the case with you and me. It's like getting the rain fall from the thunder and lightning. We're gonna get some good from the suffering. Yeah, I didn't understand and I underestimated just how hard that this would get. But you haven't lost me yet. I'm never letting go. Come All of us are a blend of many different heritages. Both Logan and Ashley Rose have a significant Irish heritage, and they have chosen to honor this heritage with a hand fasting ceremony. Hand fasting <coughs> is an ancient Celtic wedding tradition and is the origin of the saying, tying the knot. This ceremony involves the laying of symbolic cords around their hands to be followed by the tying of an infi <coughs> excuse me, infinity knot which will symbolize their never-ending love. Ashley Rose and Logan, will you hold both hands together, please? And now, while holding these hands and looking at each other, think upon these words. These are the hands of your best friend that are holding yours on your wedding day, strong and full of love for you, as you promise to love each other today, tomorrow, and forever. These are the hands that will work alongside yours as together you build your future. These are the hands that will passionately love you and cherish you through the years and with the slightest touch will comfort you like no other. These are the hands that will hold you when fear or grief fills your mind. These are the hands that will countless times wipe the tears from your eyes, tears of sorrow, and tears of joy. These are the hands that will help you to hold your family as one. These are the hands that will give you strength when you need it. And these are the hands that even when wrinkled and aged will still be reaching for yours, still giving the same unspoken tenderness with just a touch. If you would please hold your left hands together. Michelle, would you come and place the blue cord across their hands? Thank you. Ashley Rose and Logan, will you share yourselves freely and generously with each other, making time to be together? If so, they say, say we will. We will. The first binding is thus made with blue symbolic of water, that your love may flow and fill you to your depths. Gwen, will you come and place the green cord across their hands? Thank you. <coughs> will you seek to eat each other's pain and suffering, sharing laughter and joy? The second binding is thus made with green, symbolic of earth, that your love may be wise and nurturing and your happiness abundant. Brenda, will you come and place the red cord across their hands? Thank you. Ashley Rose and Logan, will you strive to keep your romance alive 
through daily actions and words of encouragement. Amen. Amen. The third binding is thus made with red, symbolic of fire, that your love may be bright and passionate. Yvonne, will you come and place the light blue cord across their hands? Thank you. Will you both help each other to grow in spirit and wisdom? We will. The fourth binding is thus made with light blue, symbolic of air, that your love may be as limitless as the sky and filled with spirit. Noel, will you come and place the purple cord across their hands? The final binding is made with purple, symbolic of royalty and of crowning spiritual development, a oneness with each other and with all that is, a combining symbol of pure love. We're now going to tie this. Master Rosa Logan, if you would take the ends of the cords in your right hand, remove your left hands from within the knot, and pull the ends taut. An infinity knot is now formed. And so, the bindings are made. You are now bound together, your two lives joined by love and trust into one life. Ashley Rose and Logan have some vows they'd like to say to each other now. Logan, would you like to go first? <clears throat> From the moment I met you, I knew you were special. I always looked up to you, even if we were both competitive. I always thought you were amazing, intelligent, and beautiful. It's hard for me to describe how excited I am for our marriage. I look forward to our life together, our family, and puppies. <laughs> we'll explore the world together. Our family will never be short on puppy adventures. I vow to support you and always be a shoulder to cry on. I promise to love you and the Meeks forever, better or worse. I'll always be there for you. Whenever you break something, I'll be there to fix it. Whenever you start a craft and don't finish it, pick up the slack. But most importantly, I'll always take care of you. I will love you forever with all my heart, and I will love you forever. see these vows not just as promises but as privileges. I get to laugh with you and cry with you, care for you and share with you. I get to run with you and walk with you, build a life and live with you. I vow to be your family through both sorrow and triumph. I will always organize our coordinating outfits for our yearly family photo. <laughs> I vow to laugh with you in good times and to solace you when you are downhearted. I will come to mutual decisions with you. I vow to make time to go on adventures, travel, and just be together with you. I will be brave when walking downhill. I vow to tolerate your toe knives, and I will continue to tickle you until we grow old and decrepit. I vow to remember to move my food wrappers from the counter to the trash can. I will try to flush the toilet more often. <laughs> I vow to be honest. I will be honest with my actions and my words. 
I will stay true to you always, trustworthy and truthful. I will be straightforward and tell you when I am in need of your presence, love, and your support. I make these commitments to you because you are my favorite person. It may shock you to know that I love you even more than I love Paul. <laughs> I hope that in our next life, we will be birds flying wing to wing in the sky, <laughs> soaring together across the vastness of the earth, remembering all the memories we have made and those we have yet to experience. I have these hopes because I love you without knowing how, or when, or from where. I love you straightforwardly, without complexities or pride. So I love you because I know no other way. It is now very clear of your love and commitment and intent to be a married couple. With all of us as witnesses, and to make this official in the eyes of the state, I now ask, Ashley Rose Shaw, do you take Philip Logan Sheridan to be your lawfully wedded husband? Do you, Philip Logan Sheridan, take Ashley Rose Shaw to be your lawfully wedded wife? I do. Ashley Rose and Logan have also decided to exchange rings as a visible symbol of their love and commitment. Through the ring blessing ceremony, these rings are now overflowing with the love and energy provided by all of us. Would you like to go ahead and start, Ashley? As this ring encircles your finger, from this day forward, day in and year in and year out, so will my love forever and so will you. As this ring encircles your finger, from this day forward, year in and year out, so will my love forever and so will you. Okay. <laughs> by the power vested in me, by the Universal Life Church in the state of Montana, I now pronounce you to be a married couple. Now, in ancient Roman, Roman times, a kiss was used to seal a contract. Logan and Ashley Rose, you may now signify your perfect love, trust, and commitment by having your first kiss as a married couple. You fill up my senses like a night in the forest. Like the mountains in springtime, like a walk in the rain, like a storm in the desert, like a sleepy blue ocean. You fill up my senses. Oh, thank you. Come let me love.